Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to share with you something that has just rolled out in today. The much anticipated full self-driving 12.3.6 update from Tesla. Buckle up as we dive into the first 10 to 15 minutes of my drive with this new update. Let's hit the road and explore what's new together. of a different than the previous 12.3.4 that I have but definitely something okay it's waiting way longer than what I have seen in the past so waited for this car way longer Turn right Not sure onto West why. 1360 South. Now turn right onto West 13. Okay. In 500 feet, turn right. Okay, what I will do right now is I'll take it to a place where I see the previous version 12.3.4 has struggled so let me cancel this left to stay on West Ikea way. and navigate to a grocery store where I have to go through this road Staying here. Now turn left to take the ramp. So what I, when I drive, what I do is I actually do what this car is doing. I stay on this lane, and this is not the ideal lane to stay. When making this sort of like a U-turn under the bridge, so I'll let FSD handle how it handle. I will not take over until if unless like it does some kind of weird movement wow ah uh, yeah i don't like that that is it, it went all the way up to the other lane it looks like and then almost went over the curb this update look like uh, yeah I'll take the 
I'll go and make that right on that parking lot and come back and see if I can find any other uh, updates from the previous version. Anyway, it's super excited that I, I get 12.3.6. So, yeah, it's within the past like a month or a couple of months. By the way, this is our favorite grocery store. The reason being is uh, last month they installed level 2 chargers, Tesla chargers. And it's free for the customers. Isn't that amazing? Okay, navigation complete. Alright, let me let me show you the chargers. And I'll go back. So see over there? It's uh, Tesla charging right now. Yeah, those charging. So you can leave it charged while it's while you go buy some groceries. So I like the interface over here, like super clean. I think I don't know, I don't remember this in the past. It's very clean. Big hmm. Maybe it's just because in my head I, I feel like this is new. I'm so amazed. Like I don't there's no one over here. Hmm. If I see a parallel parking space, I will definitely try the auto park feature. Traffic light. However, I don't know which one is this referring to. Yeah, that's not a traffic light. It's I'm not sure how that's picking up as a traffic light, and then now it's blinking red. And this over here, smaller one, is for that. So. stop sign and there's no one I'm not sure why it's not going there's no one here oh, I don't like this why is it going backward Let's be honest, there's always room for improvement. And I pointed out a few areas where version of FSD could be even better. But you know what? If I made a video showcasing everything FSD does amazingly well, well, we'll be here for hours. The truth is, using FSD is a fantastic experience. 
pace of updates and improvements is truly impressive. And it's exciting to see where Tesla is taking this technology. For me, the future of driving is bright. FSD is constantly learning and evolving, and I can't wait to see what it can do next. Thanks for joining me on this ride, and remember, stay safe out there. If you like this kind of content from this channel, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.